أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله ملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم Chapter number 6 Al-Anam verses 20 And give up all the sins of body and of heart Here in chapter number 6 that is Surah Al-Anam verses 20 Both external and internal aspects of human personality represents Allah orders to give up sins of body and sins of heart sins of body is related to external aspects and sins of heart is related to internal aspect human body human being that is insan human being is composed with body heart and soul almighty allah has given three things to human being almighty allah has given three things to insan first body second heart that is kalb and third is soul that is ruh human personality represents two aspects one external aspect second internal aspect one external aspect second internal aspect external aspect is performed by body and internal aspect is performed by kalb that is heart and soul soul meaning ruh in the same way deen islam consist of two aspects one external aspect second internal aspect it means there is a zahir and there is a batin every act every work every job every task in deen has the externality and internality every act every job every task in deen has the outer selves and inner selves complete deen is balancing of both externality and internality complete deen is balancing of zahir and balancing of batin deen is incomplete if we miss any one that is externality and internality so deen will be completed only balancing of both externality and internality if we go chapter number 2 was number 151 chapter number 2 surah baqara was number 151 here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says nabi kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam performs teaches four most important activities to umma first one yatlu alaikum ayatina what it means revelation disclosure of tracks signs and tracings wa yuzakkikum translation purifies and sanctifies nafs and heart purifies purifies and sanctifies by yuzakkikum means purifies and sanctifies this is related to batin what what purifies was sanctifies nafs and the heart third important teaching why 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 you all why you all makumul kitab teaches you the book third is teaches to the book teaches you the book fourth one wal hikma what it means logic and wisdom this wa yuzakkikum wal hikma is related to batin 
یتلو علیکم آیاتنا از ریلیٹڈ ٹو ظاہر ایکسٹرنالٹی ٹیچرس یو دا بک از دا ایکسٹرنالٹی و یو زکیکم از دا انٹرنالٹی والحکمہ از انٹرنالٹی والحکمہ از دا انٹرنالٹی نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ہیز کمبائن دا ظاہر وت باطن اینڈ باطن وت ظاہر نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کمبائنز دا ظاہر وت باطن اینڈ باطن وت ظاہر حدیث نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیٹ انما الاعمال بالنیات what it means all the acts acceptability or rejectability depend on niyat all the acts all the tasks all the jobs accept, acceptability or rejectability depend on niya so what is this this is internality niyat is not external niyat is internality so nabi kareem sallallahu alaihi wasallam has combined zahir with batin and batin with zahir even even an act of sin sin means evil work even an act of sin has an externality and internality it has an external appearance and also internal appearance external appearance of sin is done by using body external appearance of sin is done by body that is by using eyes by using ears by using hands by using legs internal appearance of sin is ordered by nafs with the counter approval from heart that is kalb this nafs and heart are not purified because they are not purified and they are ordering body to perform sins and the body is performing sins with eyes ears hands and legs we'll compare externality that is zahir and internality batin example praying salah namaz or doing worship praying salah for example namaz what is externality takbir recitation of quran ruku sujood sitting readings reading salat right and left turning of faces this is the externality of salah externality of namaz come to the internality of salah internality of namaz purity of thoughts purity of ideas purity of niyat heart submission to almighty allah nearness of almighty allah ikhlas these are the key and important internality of namaz internality of salah internal acts of salah internal acts of salah these are the most important criteria elements to accept external acts of salah internal acts of salah is most important M- most important criteria it helps to accept the external acts of salah that is namaz if you don't perform niyat then salah is not acceptable almighty allah even allah even you perform all external acts even you perform all external acts almighty allah will not accept the sala example example one thief theft the gold and thief is running and police is chasing him he enter in the masjid and start the prayer thief is running police is chasing thief drop the gold at the door door of the masjid and enter the masjid and started the prayer started the salah it is just to save himself from the police he is doing all the external aspects of prayer he is doing 
all the external aspects of prayer that is takbir recitation of quran ruku sujood sitting reading salat right and left turning of faces he is doing all the external aspects of salah he is doing everything but he is doing the prayer fearing from the police what is missing here batin niyat is not correct niyat is missing so do this namaz performed by teeth is acceptable to almighty allah the answer is no why the internal aspect batin is missing one more example fasting a person is fasting fasting what is the what are the external aspects of fasting what is what are the externality what are the zahir no eating no drinking no jima this is the externality of fast, fasting no eating no drinking no jima and what are the internality of fasting internal aspects of fasting niyat intention motive if this fasting person niyat intention motive is that people should call him a bias person people should call him a religious person so what is missing here ikhlas is missing here so ikhlas is not externality ikhlas is internality ikhlas is an internality so ikhlas is missing why this person his intention is that people should call him a bias person a religious person so ikhlas is missing such fasting is not acceptable to almighty allah externality is related to physical body internality is related to qalb nafs and soul internality is related to qalb that is heart nafs and soul soul meaning ruh to perform zahir needs purity of body to perform any act by zahir through zahir purity of body is required that is purity can be done through ghusl and wudu ablution to perform batin requires purity of nafs and qalb taqlid of imam corrects the zahir taqlid of imam following of any imam from the four that is Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Shafi, Imam Malik, Imam Ahmad bin Hamdal Rahmatullah. Following any one of the Imam, the Khalid of Imam corrects the Zahir. Following any one of Imam out of four is mandatory. Following any one of the Imam out of four is mandatory to correct the Zahir. In the same time, Sufi. or pire kamil can only corrects the batin taqlid of imam corrects the zahir sufi or pire kamil can only corrects the batin search a sufi and follow him to purify your nafs and hearts to zahir can be corrected with the help of imam that is anyone imam Abu Hanifa, Rahmatullah le, Imam Shafi, Rahmatullah le, Imam Malik, Rahmatullah le, Imam Ahmad bin Hamdal, Rahmatullah le. So, Batin can be corrected with the help of Sufi, Pire Kamil, who will be true servant of Huzur Ghasu Sakhlein, Razi Allah Taala. Who will be true servant of Ali Bethia Thar, Razi Allah Taala. Who will be true servant of Nabi Kareem, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, Pire Kamil. can only corrects the batin so batin means purifying your nafs purifying your heart so need to search a sufi and follow him to purify your nafs and heart jazakallahu khair